it's Karen. I'm back to do another project share for craft supplies for you and just to remind everybody that we still have openings for our guest design team. The uh, application process is ongoing until January the 15th and all the information is on the craft supplies for you blog which I will link in the description box below. So please go over and have a read of what is required if you'd like to apply for the guest design team. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the description box below and or in the comments below, sorry, and I will for sure answer them for you. Um, for those that don't know, Craft Supplies for You has two online stores, which I will link in the description box below, and they carry, she carries lots of supplies for crafting with. And this is my project that I wanted to share with you, and I will tell you exactly what supplies. There are some things that are from my stash and others that are from the store. And that's the nice thing about shopping, is you want to be able to shop somewhere where you can pick up some things that fit in to what you already have in your stash because you know all of us have huge stashes of stuff but you can buy a few things that will complement what you already have and then you can make beautiful creations so this was a tin that contained two boxes of after eight chocolates um, Costco had these this Christmas and I bought these uh, bought this box and uh, the family ate up the chocolates but I also bought it because I knew this was like the perfect size of box to decorate um, what I did was I painted the box um, with gesso to give it a white coating because otherwise the green it was green it would have shown through um, my napkins and then I I mod podged uh, small pieces of this napkin and what this napkin was was a, uh, a wooden um, like a grapevine wreath with flowers pink and white and blue flowers all woven in between so it gave it um, there's quite a brown um, you know of the vine and then the flowers and then I just painted the edge here gold because the inside of the box it's still usable I kept it as a usable box and this is, even though it's a lot of stuff on the lid, it's totally able to be opened up and it's gold in the inside. The only thing I did was I put a little bit of this Mod Podge napkin onto a piece of cardstock and then I just put this, I had this word inspire and I just thought it'd be fun if you were opening up the box to, to be something kind of, of a surprise inside. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I'm definitely have it on display and, and I like it that way so far. So after I gessoed the box and painted the gold trim and did all the mod podging on it, and it's mod podged all the way around and on the bottom too, I like everything finished. Then I uh, waited for it all to dry and then started creating. So this Battenberg lace doily is from Craft Supplies For You and it's quite a good size doily. I didn't measure it and I should have, but it's probably eight inches and it goes right from the front I wanted it draped in the front and then it goes across the top it goes down the back and then it actually ended up reaching to around to the bottom and so that was my base um, this is a beautiful trim it's a satiny kind of pleated trim also from craft supplies for you one of my favorites I, I love this it comes in a couple of other colors as well it's a very pretty trim on its own used like this and then as you've seen me do before these little rolled flowers here are also made from that exact same trim and all you literally do is roll it you don't have to twist it. You don't have to do anything else. You just roll it up to whatever size you want. Bit of glue at the beginning and bit of glue at the end and it's done. And you get these pretty little flowers. I have one there and I have one on this side done with that pretty pleated trim. And then I started laying up flowers on top. The bird is from my stash. Uh, I did get a set of two of these a couple of Christmases ago 
and they actually had hangers on them and I decided to use one of them in this project because I loved the way that it had the wooden sticks for the back part of her body and her wings and her tail because it went along with the sort of the wood grain that you can see in this napkin. So I really liked how that looked. I built her a nest out of fibers and some meshy stuff that I had. I just cut it all in strips. There's little bits of this eyelash trim in here and little bits of lace. And this meshy trim had little iridescent sequins on it. And so I built, I just cut it all into pieces and then mushed it up and built a little nest for her to sit in and put her in the nest and then I just started decorating the flowers all let me look now most of the flowers are from craft supplies for you these blue ones which are very pretty they have little stamens in them and a, a, a really pretty sort of iridescent or not iridescent but a sparkly kind of fabric in the center and then a satiny fabric on the outside and there's three there's actually four there's one in the back tucked on the back I try and work in odd numbers but occasionally when I have an extra flower or something I'll just tuck it it's kind of out of sight but it gets used in the project so there's three in the front these foam roses are also from craft supplies for you and they are very very pretty uh, they're about three quarters to an inch around very beautiful the way that the petals are on them and they have a tiny bit of a, a mesh piece in behind them but they are very very pretty um, these little ones are porcelain roses with a ribbon center those are also from craft supplies for you and they come in different colors these are the little pink ones. I use these and in several colors on lots of my projects. They're one of my favorites. They come in quite a, a good sized bushel of them and they come with the little stamens as well. And they're actually stamens that are quite pretty or I guess they're like little buds. They're very pretty. They're, you know, sometimes buds on a stem are kind of like you think, oh, well, those are an extra, but these are actually really pretty and they look nice and I've tucked them here and there in the project. And then these, this flower here is also from Craft Supplies for You. It's layered flower. It's a flatter flower, but I've just sort of, uh, you know, pushed it up a bit when I've glued it down. Um, and it's got iridescent and then a fabric and then a little center. And that's, so it's three layers and then a little pearl in the middle. So really pretty too. Another really pretty flower from the store. The other, other flowers on here, there's some paper roses and some of these little paper, um, I don't even know what kind of flowers they're called, but those are some of the other flowers that are on here that are from my stash. And I just sort of mounded them kind of, you know, up towards the nest and down the front a bit. And then this little butterfly is a paper butterfly with sparkle on it and a little ribbon and this was on a Mother's Day card I got from my children last Mother's Day and actually was sitting up <laughs> the whole year because <laughs> I love I actually love getting cards uh, it would be good if my children would actually listen to me and just give me cards because that's what I like the most I had the card sitting there until Christmas when I took it down because I had to put my Christmas stuff up and then I decided that I would take this butterfly off of the card and it just had a little foam sticker on the back and I took it and I added a little bit of hot glue on behind there and I added it to the project. So now I can enjoy it, continue to enjoy that part of the card anyway on this project and it adds a little element of sentiment as well which is very much me. So, so there is my project, another share and using supplies, a lot of flowers and the doily and the trim from Craft Supplies for You. And just remind, reminding you all that we'd love to have you on the Craft Supplies for You team. Um, I am currently um, on the team. I'm also head of the social media and I'm, I'd be happy to um, answer any questions or and to in, invite you to apply and come and be a part of our team. Uh, so that's everything. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.